What's up guys? So welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some products that were shipped to me by Oxbeam. We've got some headlights because we all know we need to see bright. Uh, so we're going to toss these in the car, change the oil, get this thing ready to go. It needs some brighter lights and it definitely needs an oil change. So some necessities that are going to happen today. Let's go! <laughs> Step one here, get the heater going because it's cold. Step two, which is really step one, is get the car jacked up. So I'm gonna do that. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off that nasty drip tray and then you got the bottom of your engine exposed. This engine is actually pretty clean. 10 out of 10. Now we just gotta take off that oil filter, drain the oil from that plug there. And then we're in business. Just send it, bud. Just make sure your oil filter's on there tight, because I could literally spin that off without hardly any effort. Don't do not do it. Just tighten it up. All right, so we're draining out the old oil. And we got ourselves a magnetic oil plug in this bad boy. That'll focus. Not a whole bunch of shavings. Just a little skiff, so. Thumbs up. You're gonna let that all pour out, and then obviously it'll stop dripping. Um, you're gonna go ahead and replace your oil filter uh, so we're going to go ahead and toss that magnetic plug in, that's right there, and then uh, we'll fill from the top, and then uh, we should be able to access the fog lights quite easily from back there, and then do the headlights up here, and we'll be good. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and start filling up your oil. I'm using Quaker State 5W30, full synthetic. The owner's manual recommends, I believe, a 5 quart. All right guys, so we're all full. Um, so what I usually do is hop inside the car. And now what you're gonna do is basically pretend like you're gonna start the car. So put it into ignition. You're gonna wanna put your foot on the gas pedal all the way, foot on the clutch and crank it over. Notice how it doesn't start. That's because you're telling the vehicle to basically shut off the injectors with your foot all the way on the gas pedal. So that's essentially gonna let you build a little bit of oil pressure, kind of get some oil moving around in there. Because uh, obviously you've drained it all out. There's none in the oil filter, none in the galleys. So I like to do that before I start it. Just a nice little quick precaution. Now we're going to start it. So same deal except don't push the gas pedal all the way down. And there we go. We've got oil pressure. So that's a good sign. Now we're going to go check for leaks. So after checking underneath the car, letting the oil build pressure, uh, determine that there's no leaks, we can go ahead and shut it off and work on some other stuff. Next step, I want to replace the low beam bulbs and the headlights. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off, which my car didn't actually come with any bolts in there. So I can actually just kind of like wiggle it out. And uh, I already have some high beams from aux beam. We gotta get to the low beam. So I'm going to try and wedge my hand in there, pull this cap off, and now we can have access to it. It's the same on this side. You might just have to remove this, just get a little bit of access room. I'm gonna go ahead and toss those in and uh, see how I like it. So you're basically just gonna twist the bulb in there, plug its pigtail into the stock harness, and it might look like it's not gonna fit, but the cap actually fits right over it with no issues. So that was one thing I was worried about. So um, kudos to Oxbeam for actually making it thin enough that the cap fits over it. I'm gonna plug this one in, put the cap back on, and show you guys what the light output looks like. So for the 9006 bulbs, that's the part number I got. You do have this little voltage regulator, and then they're a little bit bigger. So these will be going for my fog lights. So I'm gonna see if I can pop those out, put these in, and see how those look. So far, the headlights were pretty easy, so I assume these won't be too bad. Okay guys, so I'm just coming back from a little bit of a sushi uh, dinner break. Um, overall, really impressed with the lights. I, I'm honestly blown away at how easy they were to install. I had no issues, literally plug and play. And you get the crisp whiteness of an HID for half the price. Uh, and the fog lights, they're, they change color. They go from yellow and blue. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. I didn't even know that they were alternating. I thought there was either a switch that you had to toggle, but by literally just turning the power off and turning it back on, they change color. Big ups to Oxbeam for that. And I mean, for the price you pay, I think on Amazon, the one set of the 9006 
was $54, and that's for the color changing LEDs. Um, for the H11 bulbs that I used in my low beams, <laughs> they were, I think, $47. So cheaper than buying a set of like Sylvania Nighthawks. So for the price you pay, you don't have to buy an HID conversion kit, you don't have to wire anything, literally plug and play, turn them on, and go. Honestly guys, you'd be stupid not to buy these for your car. I was skeptical at first, because I've never ran LEDs like this, I've only ever gone to the HID kits. Way easier than an HID install, and the price can't be beat. Check out Oxbeam, there'll be a link below in the description for the products I used, and to their store on Amazon. Definitely give this video a like if you enjoyed the install and are thinking of picking up some lights. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. Yeah, remember guys, drive a car like you stole it because I don't know why I, I don't know. Mm.